Terminals are probably the most used tool in Linux operating systems. Yeah, that black dump looking window in any Linux OS where we write and execute our commands, that's called a terminal. Every Linux system comes with at least one. Terminals are the way we access the command line interface. And one of the coolest parts of any terminal is the terminal prompt. A terminal prompt is the text displayed in the command line interface that indicates the system is ready to accept user input. Right now you can see the Kali Linux terminal prompt on your screen. A typical Linux terminal prompt contains your username, hostname, and current directory. But you know what's cool? It can be customized. You can make it look exactly how you want. There's a popular tool for customizing the Linux prompt called OhMyZesh, and today we're going to use OhMyZesh to customize our Linux prompt and make it look super beautiful. Before we start, I want to tell you about the Discord community I've created for you guys. Porn Stories is a cybersecurity and ethical hacking community where you can connect with like-minded people and learn hacking together. We've also introduced a special supporter role for those who join our monthly membership on Buy Me A Coffee for just $10. By becoming a member, you'll get the supporter role in our Discord server, free access to all resources, and the opportunity to learn directly from me. So click the link in the description and grab the $10 monthly membership. Trust me, it's worth way more than you think. All right, back to the video. First, let's install OhMyZesh in our terminal, and then we're going to check out some of the most beautiful themes for it. First, we need to determine which shell our terminal is using. Terminals come with different shell languages like Bash, Zesh, Fish, and many more. Oh my Zesh only works with Zesh, so if your terminal is using Bash or any other shell, we'll need to switch it to Zesh. If you're using Kali Linux, chances are it's already set to Zesh by default. To check your shell, type the following command in your Linux terminal. You'll see an output similar to what's on your screen. If it's Zesh, you're good to go, but if it's Bash or something else, type the next command. It will ask for your password. Once you enter it, restart your terminal and run the previous command again. You should now see that your shell has been successfully switched to Zesh. Now, it's time to install Oh My Zesh. To do this, head to the website using the link in the description or simply search Oh My Zesh in your web browser. Click on Install Oh My Zesh and it will take you to the installation section. Just copy the provided command and paste it into your terminal. The installation process will take a little time and make a few changes to your system, but once it's done, you'll see your brand new terminal prompt, something similar to what you can see on your screen. All right, so far we have successfully installed Oh My Zesh in our terminal. Now let's explore some themes and a few more features. Oh My Zesh comes with a ton of themes, each offering different aesthetic and functional options. You can browse these themes by clicking the Themes button on the Oh My Zesh website. Feel free to explore and pick the one that best suits your style. However, the theme I personally use is P10K. Yeah, the one you saw in the video thumbnail. And that's exactly what we're going to install. To install P10K in your terminal, type the following command in your Linux terminal. This command will clone a repository inside the themes directory of your Oh My Zesh instance. Once the cloning process is complete, type the next command to edit your Zesh resource file. This step is crucial because we need to update the theme configuration for Oh My Zesh. Look for a variable named Zesh theme and change its value to what you see on your screen. After making this small change, press Ctrl plus X to save and exit the nano editor. Once you're done with this, just type the final command to start the Oh My Zesh installation process. The next steps are pretty straightforward and self-explanatory. You'll see some icons and emojis, and the setup will ask you a few yes or no questions. After that, it will prompt you to select your preferred terminal appearance. Just choose the options that suit you best. I'll be selecting based on my personal preferences, but you can configure it however you like. Once you've answered all the prompts, you'll see your new Linux terminal prompt. Oh My Zesh comes with a lot of pre-built themes, and if you have the technical knowledge, you can even create your own custom themes. Personally, I prefer Power Level 10K or just the basic Kali Linux terminal prompt. If at any point in the future you get bored of your current setup, you can simply run the following command in your terminal to reconfigure your prompt. And if you ever want to remove Oh My Zesh completely, you can do that with another simple command, which I'll also show on the screen. So that's it for this quick tutorial on how to install Oh My Zesh on your Linux terminal. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, drop a nice comment below and don't forget to join the Discord server for more hacking and cybersecurity discussions. Until next time, happy hacking!